Hello everyone, welcome back to Rockwell Automation Series. Today I will introduce you about Studio 5000 Logix Designer. Firstly, we open the Studio 5000 Logix Designer and create the new project. We select the logic and select the CPU 1756L. 83e I put the name e AEPLC and select the location and next I select the revision e 30 and the justice is 1756 a 10 with 10 slot and the CPU in uh, slot 0 security authority I let it no protection and finish Okay, now we have a blank project with the PLC L83E. Firstly, we can modify the controller properties. In the controller organizer, right click on the controller name folder and select the properties. To change the controller to a different type or revision. Click Change Controller. From the Type drop-down list, select a controller type. And from the software version, select the, the version that matches the controller. Then OK. To change the controller name in the name box, type a new name up to 40 characters, include the letters, numbers, or underscores. To modify the justice type, from the just, justice type drop down list, select a new justice. And to change the slot, the justice. From uh, slot spin box here, select or type a new slot number. To modify the SMC, SFC execution, click on the SFC execution tab, select an execution control option, select a restart position option. Select a last scan of active steps option and click on the apply. Then OK. Next step is creating and modifying the containers in the controller used for organizing a project and executing the code by performing the, the following task here. Number one. Modify the default continuous tab in the controller organizer. Number two, create an event driven task in the controller organizer. Number three, create and create a periodic task in the controller organizer. Number four, create a program. And number five, create and assign a routine. To modify in the, the default continuous task in the controller organizer, in this application, I will modify the main task. 
Step 1. In the controller organizer, right click on main task and select properties. Step 2. In the name box, type a name that describes the function of the task. Up to 40 characters include the letters, numbers, or underscores. Step 3. In the description box, type a task description up to 128 characters. Number 4. Click on the configure configuration tab. Define the task type by choosing the proper option. If you want a continuous running task that can be interrupted by periodic or event task, drop down and select the continuous. Please take note, a project can have only one continuous task. If you want a non-continuous running task, only tasks that run based on the specific events, drop down and select the e event. From the trigger drop down list, select the the action that will trigger the task execution. If the tag drop down list is active, select the tag con containing the triggering data. To execute the, the task, if the event does not occur within a specific time, select the checkbox and in the corresponding box, tie a time value in milliseconds. If you want a non-continuously running task, only task that run at the specific rate, drop down and select the periodic. In the period box, tie the, the rate in milliseconds at which the task should occur. Reducing the rate increase the frequency of the task execution. In the task type, will change to periodic or event. In the priority spin box, type or select a priority value from 1 to 15 for the task. A task with a lower priority value will be executed first. Example, a task with a priority value of 2 will execute before a task with a priority value E5. To change the watchdog, to change the default watchdog timer in the watchdog box, tie a timer value in milliseconds. That specific how long the task can run before triggering a major controller fall. To disable automatic output processing to reduce the task overheat, select the corresponding checkbox. To inhibit the task, select the inhibit task checkbox, then apply an OK. Now I will show you how to create 
an event driven task in the controller organizer to create a new event driven task that interrupts any lower priority task execute one time and return control to the the task that were interrupted at the point at which it were interrupted performed by following action here first in the controller organizer right click the task folder and select new task in the name box Type a name that describes the function of the task. In this application, I will create the task the analog. Next step in the description box, type a description for the task analog input and output from the type drop down list select event from the trigger drop down list select the, the action that will trigger the task execution I select the event instruction only if the text drop down list e Active, select the text containing the triggering data. Now I did not create the text yet, so it not allow us to select. Next step, to execute the task, the task if the event does not occur within a specific time. Select the checkbox and in the corresponding box, type a time value in milliseconds. I will let it default 10 milliseconds. In the priority spin box, tie a, or select a priority value from 1 to 15 for the task. In this application, I will let it number 2. 2. No. Okay. To change the default watchdog timer in the watchdog box, type a timer value in milliseconds. In this application, I will let it default 500 milliseconds. To enable automatic output processing, clear the disable automatic output processing to reduce task overhead checkbox. And for inhibit the, the task, I will uncheck it. Then click on OK. Next, I show you how to create a new periodic task that interrupts the continuous task or another periodic task or lower priority as a user specified race. Step 1 in the controller organizer, right click the task folder and select the new task. In the name box, type a name that describes the function of the task. In this application, it will motor control. In, in the description box, type a description for the task up to 128 characters. Control motor. From the Thai drop down list, select the periodic. In the periodic period box, in the period box, tie a race in milliseconds at which the task should occur. I will let it be 10 milliseconds. 
in the priority spin box type or select a priority value from 1 to 15 for the task in this application I will let the the task for control motor is priority 3 to change the watchdog timer in the watchdog box higher timer value in millisecond I will let it default with 500 millisecond and for disable automatic output processing uh, reduce task overhead and inhibit task I will uncheck it then click on OK Next, e creating a program. To creating, to create a program, to organize routines of execute executable code, in the controller or logical organizer, right click the folder in which program will run, and then select add new program. I will in the analog, right click add new program in the name box type a name that describe the function of the program let's say uh, analog input and in the description box type a description for the program read analog input from Divide from the parent drop down list, select the folder to which the new program will be associated. We we'll select the main program to scale to schedule the new program in a different task from the schedule in drop down list select the task in which the new program will be scheduled to run Hello. to inhibit the program select the inhibit program checkbox and click on OK Next, we are creating and assigning a routine. To create a routine with type ladder, HFC, FBD, or ST of for the programming executable code, and assign it at a main or full routine performing following action here. The first step in controller or logical organizer, right click the program folder in which the routine will be assigned then select add new routine I will select the analog input here add new routine in the name box type a name that identify the function of the routine analog input row in the description box Tire description 
the, the routine analog input role with the function is reading the row value from from the analog input modules with row value from analog input modules from the type drop down list select the type of execute executable code to be used in the routine in this application I will select the ladder diagram to create the routine in a different program from the from the in program of phase drop down list Select the name of the program in which the routine will run. This is the uh, analog input. From the assignment drop down list, select the assignment for the routine. Only one main routine and one full routine can be assigned in each program. Subroutines are not assigned. They must be executed from the main routine using a GSR. It means jump to subroutine instruction. So this uh, I will select the main to have the routine open in the appropriate editor. Once you have create created, it, select the open routine checkbox. Click on OK. Next is creating and assigning the text program parameters and the and text arrays. To create a specific memory location when programming an application to store the data you during the the execution of the code and if necessary make the memory location an array continue block of data by two tasks the, the task one create a tag or an array in the in the edit text lit the task two create a tag or array after assigning it to an instruction in a language editor. To create a tag or a, a array in the edit text list, perform following action here. Step 1. Select the folder where the text will be created by choosing the appropriate option in studio 5000 we have two type of text first a controller text it means global text we can use them in every program routine of the application the second type is local text that means that text just you in only in the program where the text is created. For controller text, we double click on controller text. For local text, we double click on parameters and local text. Okay, now we come to controller text. Step two. At the bottom of the of the window, click the the edit text tab. Step three, in the name cell, type a name for the text up to forty characters, include letters, numbers, or underscores. I will put the name in process one ten. It means the temperature of process 1. 
Step 4. To change the data type of the text or to create an array perform following action. In the same row, click the data type cell. Click three dots here. In the data type list box, select the type of data that the text will store. If the text store at a single data type, we can select in integer. Pool, it means pool and double in D in. Double integer. If the text will store an array in the array dimension spin boxes, tie or select the number of elements for each dimension. For example, we select the data type e double in. And in a dim zero, I will let it 10. So we got the, the text array of 10 double integer. Step 5 in the description box. Tie a description up to 128 characters. I put the temperature of process 1. Step 6. To change the external access of the text, click the external access cell and then from the drop down list select an external access type. We have three options uh, read or write, only read and none. Step 7 to protect the text value from being changed by unauthorized users, select con constant checkbox. Step 8. To display the text value in a different type, click the type cell. And then from the drop down list, select a new style. I select the decimal style. Finally, you press enter. Next one is creating and assigning program parameters. To create and assign connection to program parameters, perform following action. Step 1. In the program, we want to create a new program parameter. I select the program analog input. Right click on the parameter and local text. And select new parameter. In the name box, type a name for the text up to 40 characters, include the letters, number, or underscore. I will put the name E pressure analog input in in the description box type up description up to 128 characters I will put here pressure sensor analog input next to the manner in which the parameter will be used by choosing one of following option here if the parameter define the data that is passed by value into the executing program we select the input parameter 
if the parameter define the dat data that we produce as a direct result of executing the program, we select the output parameter. And if the parameter represents a reference to data that can be used for input and output during the execution of program, we select in our parameter. Next, if the parameter define the data that we pass by value into uh, uh, e-produced by executing program, we select the public parameters. Next, we come to the type from the type drop down list to one of the following options here. For the, this type of parameters uh, based, we select pay here. If the parameter we define is uh, alias type, we select alias type. And from the alias drop down list, select the base stack. Okay. To change the data type of parameter or to create an array performing flowing action here, we come to data type box and click on here. Now we cannot click. In the data type list box, select the type of data that the text will be stored. And if the text will store an array in array dimensions bin box, type or select the number of elements for each dimension. Then click on create. Now we come to the parameter connection. Drop down list, select the tag you want the parameter to be connected to. Now I not yet create the param the text, so we have nothing here. From the scope drop down list, select the parameter scope. We select uh, the analog input here. Next is choosing the type of access external applications. We have to the text by choosing one of following option. Now uh, we just have one option here, read or write, but we will have two more type, read only and none. To display the parameter value in a different type, from the type drop down list, select a new type. Select the decimal here. And to protect the parameter value from being changed by unauthorized user, select the constant checkbox. To open the parameter connection, select the open parameter connections checkbox and then Click on create. We have some fall here. We come to properties. Public input. Alias base. Get a tie here. We can stop the point. So in here I will let it tint. Okay. Reply this will apply. Okay. So the four is clear.